Welcome everybody, I'm Matt. If you're new to this channel, we create motivational content and study inspiring people so that you can learn to persuade, motivate, and inspire others too. Make sure to join the community by hitting subscribe and you'll get notifications for new videos every week. Something incredible happened last night. Just before bed, I'm going through a few YouTube comments. I see one that says, David sent me here. And for anyone who doesn't know, I did a public speaking reaction video to the amazing David J.P. Phillips a few weeks ago. And my mind straight away goes that, David, okay, no, it couldn't be that David though, could it? No, 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 couldn't be, couldn't be. I'm scrolling down a few more comments. And then there's another one. Blessed by the towel God himself. Now, I don't know if there's anybody who follows David's content, you'll know. There is only one towel God on YouTube. And now I know it's undeniably David J.P. Phillips. He must have done something. He reacted to the video. He's mentioned it. He's given a shout out. He's done something. And I'm freaked. I'm panicked. This is me reacting to David J.P. Phillips' video. Maybe. There's only one public speaker in town and it's David. How David would react if another public speaker did a reaction video on him. You dare oh, no. oppose me, no. mortal! Well, oh, somebody actually oh, did. No. Somebody did oppose me. Look at this. No! Public speaker reacts. Oh, David J.P. Phillips. Who does he Why think he is? <laughs> Matt Wong. Is he beyond, beyond the towel oh, gods? God. See it from a different universe? Shall we no. have a look? There's an amazing public speaker <laughs> called David J.P. Phillips. Who's oh, been posting public speaking reaction videos recently. It's true. So for example, he watches say Elon Musk or some famous YouTubers. Why is it so and then he breaks down me? their talks. Talks about what they did well. So I thought, well, wouldn't it be interesting if I did a reaction video well, on one of his talks? Back. Now he's clearly a master public speaker. <laughs> I have so much to learn from this guy. Thank you. What better way to learn? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Thank you than by learning from the best. He seems to have the same perspective as I have on people. And that, Matt, that includes you in the towel gang. You are now a yes. member. Then using our own this public speaking in the gang. to make Come us on. better communicators. Yeah. So that we can persuade, motivate, and inspire. He's got some good functional gestures. The video I'm gonna be reviewing or reacting to. This will be interesting. Which video has he picked? It's a TEDx talk he did with over two. No. <laughs> oh, that? that's my magical science yes. of storytelling TED talk. Yeah, You've got to see it if you haven't seen it. The problem with this is that YouTube, and what I've learned is do not put TEDx content or TED content into your videos because they will take oh, them down. Okay. And I don't want this video to be taken down by showing that oh, clip no. in my video. Otherwise, I'd love to have a look at this. So Matt, do please do another one if you wish from any, any of my other material. You got it, David. You asked for it. Here it is. So this next reaction video is gonna to be to David's reaction to Jack Septic Eye. Here we go. Top of the morning to you, laddies. This is David J.P. Phillips, and I am here today with you, with the by far most requested YouTuber that you want me to analyze so that you and I and everyone can understand what makes him so addictive. Okay, wait. So we're like, what, 15 seconds in? And the amount of things he's already done, it's just, it's crazy. This is exactly what happened to me with the last reaction video I did. I'll put a link in the description, but, he, he uses so many public speaking techniques in such a short space of time that it's gonna take, it takes forever to analyze the guy. It's just one after another after another. Man, okay, so let's, let's start from the top. The first thing he does is he uses a prop. He flicks the towel at the camera. This immediately grabs your attention. And why use a prop in the first place? Well, it helps tie the verbal with the visual. It can add a new dimension to your presentations and make everything you're saying even more memorable. He's also using callback humor because the towels are a repeating joke with his channel, this whole towel gang, the community, all this sort of stuff. So just having the towel there is enough to make people laugh, to connect with people, to reconnect with his audience. The next thing is that he's doing a video on Jack Septic Eye. So he uses Jack Septic Eye's introduction. Top of the morning to you, laddies! That's a nice touch because it's a way of paying him respect. He also puts on an Irish accent, which we'll say is questionable, maybe a little bit of work to do there. But it actually, it doesn't matter at all if the accent is good or not. The purpose of what he's doing here 
is he's having fun and fun is contagious. And he's giving us, by imitating the intro, the vocal variety and the accent, he's just giving the viewer positive emotions. Next, we see something that you might recognize from what David has said in previous videos. <laughs> the imaginary prop. I remember David complimenting PewDiePie for doing it in his reaction video. Smoking my computer. No, okay, oh, I did don't you know. see that? That is called an imaginary prop. As David said in the video, even professional presenters and professional public speakers, they haven't even necessarily got to the point where they're using imaginary props. So again, why use the prop? Well, it ties the verbal to the visual. And why use an imaginary prop? Well, because you aren't necessarily gonna have a drum set to do, 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 or a pipe in your pocket, handy in your pocket. And the thing is, if you do it well, like they've done here, the audience can still relate to an imaginary prop pretty much the same way that they would to a real one. The next thing that he does is the use of you and I gestures. By far most requested YouTuber that you want me to analyze so that you and I and everyone. So why, why is this so effective? Well, anytime you gesture into someone else's space or their personal area, you, you help tie them to your words. And you can do the you gesture to make someone feel included or if you wanna highlight something that's important that that particular person needs to hear. It's also a good way to just grab somebody's attention if their mind's wandering. Next, we have another great gesture. We have the clenched fist. So that you and I and everyone can understand what makes him so addictive. The clenched fist can be used to celebrate. You know, you go like, yes, come on. But in this case, it's being used for emphasis. It's showing intensity. It's, it's to highlight a really important point. It can almost be hard to get your head around how he packs so many gestures, so many items into just the first 15 seconds of that video. Okay, let's watch the next part. Why do we love him so much? How could he become the titan that he is with the 25 million subscribers? Yes, I am talking about none other than Jack Septic. Aye. But before we commence and understand the beauty of what makes Jack the man and the YouTuber that he is, I want you to remind you of the contest that we have going until Sunday, just two days away, that you can apply with your channel in the comments and I will put that into one of my videos where I will analyze and give you a shout out and feedback on how you can improve your videos in your channel. So remember to do that. And next Friday, oh my God, behold! We are launching something that has never happened on YouTube before, an absolutely unique concept that can change your life. We call it become a public speaker in 72 hours. He's always using more vocal variety to just keep us engaged. Jack Septic, aye. He's always varying the way he speaks, the pace of it, the tone, the tempo. And this is what keeps us so engaged. We're always wondering what he's gonna do next. He's constantly just grabbing our attention. See the way he almost whispers, aye. Obviously you don't wanna whisper your whole speech or everything you're saying, but that variation draws people in. Sometimes you say something really loud to grab attention, but then you can speak quietly and people almost lean in to hear what you're saying. They start listening more intently. Silence or quietness can be really good to get people's attention. I remember being in school where we had this teacher and if people were talking at the back of the class, he'd never raise his voice to complain. He'd stop talking and the silence would be deafening. And that is what would stop people talking. I have to say another reason why this video is so good, it's the editing is excellent. It's so professional. I like the part where you see the writing sped up on the chalkboard. The zoom in and out for effect works really well. Jack. Septic, aye. He uses visuals to illustrate a point. Thanks to something called mirror neurons in our brain, we copy other people's behavior. So if we see somebody laugh like KSI, we become happy. And he also uses text coming across the screen to highlight the key messages. If we see somebody that is energetic, like Jack Septic, we become energetic. So at the same time, as I said, uh, as I'm not your doctor, I order you to have a look at. It's used for emphasis and repetition is a great way to learn. Tilting his head. Tilting head shows empathy to those that you're speaking to. The editing is just really slick, really smooth, and it definitely adds a lot to the video. Next, we have pointing gestures. We have a single and a double. Improve your videos in your channel. So remember to do that. And pointing gets people's attention, or you can use the hammer home a point. 
You gotta be a bit, you have to be a bit careful with it though because pointing can be seen as accusing someone. He does a few things though to diffuse the risk of this happening. The first time he does the point, he doesn't fully extend his finger. It's a little bit bent and he doesn't throw it out intensely. He just sort of puts it out there. Improve your videos. In and for the second point, he puts more energy in it, but he's smiling as he does it. So all these things help offset any potential negative association. Improve your videos in your channel. So remember to do that. And the next thing he does great is his ability to create drama. Next Friday, oh my God, behold, we are launching something that has never happened on YouTube before, an absolutely unique concept that can change your life. You see how he does that? And next Friday, oh my God, behold, the way he's speaking, his expressions. He's so excited, you can see, you can feel the passion, the excitement come across. And then what he does is he says, we're doing something that's never happened on YouTube before. It's a unique concept. He's not just giving up the idea straight away, he's making sure he creates some drama. He's creating some suspense before hitting us with the punchline. And when he's telling us that it's never been done before, he does an open palm gesture, which is associated with truth and honesty and openness. Very clever again technique to, to make us more likely to buy into what he's saying. Next Friday, oh my God, behold, we are launching something that has never happened on YouTube before. To summarize what he's doing here, he's using such a wide range of communication skills to enhance everything he's doing. Studies say that between 70 and 90% of communication is nonverbal, and 55% of that is visual. And David maximizes his visual communication. He's such a range of gestures. And you'll notice that he takes up every opportunity to use one. He'll show numbers with his fingers. He'll show you and me gestures. He'll say high and low. Whenever there's the opportunity to use his body to speak in line with his words, he does it. And the impact is a way more attentive viewer. The amazing thing is actually that he uses so many techniques so naturally. And I would imagine he doesn't even really have to think of what he's doing. If he wants to show excitement, his face, his language, his tonality, his gestures, everything conveys it. Initially with these kind of things, you have to learn it. You have to intentionally add them in. But once you've internalized it, it's gonna happen naturally, and then you can pick and choose what to use for the certain situation. Okay, so we've been really looking specifically at the techniques that David uses. But to be honest, this could go on for hours. Let's instead take a step back for a second and answer another question. Why has David's YouTube channel been blowing up at such an incredible Great. I remember watching PewDiePie's reaction video to David's reaction video and it said in May 2020 he had 10,000 subscribers. We're in early October now and he has nearly 180,000 subscribers. I mean this man is on a rocket ship right now. So why has his channel exploded? Well number one, it's his content. It is undeniable. I remember seeing the first video he did and I knew straight away this guy was the real deal. He strikes me as someone who loves communication, he loves public speaking, he loves talking about it, analyzing what other people are doing. You know, and I suggest that you really need to love what you're doing to get to the level he's got to with your own craft. And that's a lesson for everybody. And the second reason why his channel's blowing up is that he's created a community. He has a video reading subscribers' stories, he created a subreddit, he's got a Discord server for his community. He engages with them. He, you know, he did a video reacting to his viewers' channels. He gave me a shout out in one of the videos. He's constantly talking about how grateful he is to everybody and making people feel like they're part of the channel. And we hit 100K and I cried and I laughed and I cried and I had to stop my car to just get back my emotions into, into, into state to drive my car. It's here. We did it. We made it possible in three months. Thanks to all of you. This isn't my channel anymore. It's not my team's channel. It's our channel. We created this together. And the third reason why David's channel is so popular, it's because of his sense of humor.
want to raise my glass of Swedish water and uh, just say cheers and thank you from the bottom of my my heart. It's uh, it's Jesus, my computer. <laughs> hey, cameraman. <laughs> Where did this come? There's not just great content. He's a funny guy and he's got a quirky sense of humor and everyone wants to be entertained at the end of the day. You want to be made laugh. It's one of the best gifts you can give somebody. He wears his heart on his sleeve. He doesn't hide anything. His background's consistent with his personality, funky and quirky. It's just like, take this is this is who I am. Take me or leave me. Golf, ah, uh, golf. The next reason why David's channel has done so well is his ability to be vulnerable. I absolutely loved the reaction video to Jack Septic Eye reacting to one of his videos because it's it's so real, it's so honest. <gasps> <laughs> oh my God! Save me, help me! I'm trying to hold it together, guys and girls. <clears throat> it's not easy. <gasps> My pulse, my heart, so happy. The green giant of Ireland has reacted to my reaction video. Vulnerability shows courage to put the real you, the goofy you that normally only the people closest to you are gonna see. You know what I'm talking about, right? We all have that person. To put that person, that part of you out into the world, that's brave. We're so scared to be completely authentic and for people to not like that real us that it takes real courage to do it. And when there's somebody who's willing to, it's powerful. We're immediately drawn to that person. I think he shows this in the video about being socially awkward. Hey, are you socially awkward? You know, awkward in a social situation where you go like, I don't want to go, I don't want to go. And you come up with every possible reason for not going. I was there and as with anything, I decided, hey, it's got to be skill. So I dissected the perspective of being socially awkward and found four core skills which changed my life. And I know it can change yours as well. I never would have guessed that he used to be awkward in social situations or that he used to find social situations difficult. I mean, like seeing his TED talk, he comes across just so confident. But again, showing vulnerability is endearing. It makes us root for him. It makes us want him to succeed. The next reason the channel is doing so well is because he's a genuinely nice guy and he's spreading positivity in the world. Look at the PewDiePie and Jacksepticeye reactions to his videos. I, I got a job as uh, support captain. He's got a job. Uh, so Good if you call me Captain Pewdie. Smoke him up. Captain Pewdie. No, okay, oh, I did don't you know. see that? That is what I did now. I did a little fake pipe. That's right. Genius. <laughs> This guy, oh my god, I feel I feel so flattered, embarrassed, and epic at the same time. Um, again, go check David out. I I really like this. I've seen his video on Felix and I've seen his video on KSI as well, and they're just really nice. He 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 has a lot of nice things to say about people. Um, and it's a lot of very constructive things to say, so I appreciate that. He always has positive things to say about other people. He's lifting up everyone around him. He sees the good in them. He encourages them to be even better. And the world needs more people like that. It motivates me to do the same. So, thanks <laughs> to this guy. It, it really means a lot. And I sure just wanna say the same. During these last three months, I, I, I cannot, I cannot express how thankful I am to all of you out there commenting and liking and sharing, That's being part of the Discord and the subreddit, and wow, you are making a difference to this world. That's really nice. Go check him out. His name is David JP Phillips on YouTube. And that is the last reason why David's channel has been so successful.
He really does care about people. He gained nothing from giving me a shout out in a video, but he still did it. And it really does mean so much to me. So David, if you're watching, honestly, thank you so much. I, I really do appreciate it. And to me, those are the biggest reasons why David JP Phillips's channel has just completely exploded. Number one is content is top quality. He's a true expert in the field of public speaking and communication. Number two, he's put in the time and the effort to build a strong community with good, positive people. The third reason is his sense of humor. We learn and we laugh. Number four is his courage to be completely vulnerable and unapologetically himself. Number five is he's spreading positive messages. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button, share it, be sure to subscribe. There'll be weekly videos on motivational content and inspiring messages from inspiring people. Check out some of the other videos on the left hand side here. And finally, if there's any topics or speakers or YouTubers that you'd like to see me cover, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for joining me everyone. I'm Matt. We'll see you next time.